It's a rare, often misdiagnosed heart condition, and it can be deadly. Tonight, doctors still have a lot to learn about spontaneous coronary artery dissection, or SCAD. And as the name suggests, it can happen at any time. In fact, I was with my best friend when she had a heart attack that doctors now say was caused by SCAD. Rachel Lopez turned 34 this month. She works out multiple times a week. She eats healthy and has no pre-existing health conditions. So when she started describing her symptoms to me, I thought there's no way she's having a heart attack, but I was wrong. And so were doctors at first. Tonight, Rachel is sharing her story in hopes of spreading the word about this little known heart condition that can be deadly. The first day of the new year and Rachel Lopez had big plans for 2022. Newly engaged, planning a wedding. I mean, this was the happiest chapter of my life for sure. But halfway through the day, something happened. Came out of absolutely nowhere. Tingling in her arm, jaw pain and pressure in her heart. Symptoms that lined up with a heart attack. The pain eventually subsided, but then a few hours later, the symptoms returned. And that's when this sort of striking pain started going through my heart. It kind of felt like a lightning bolt almost. And at that point, um, I think everyone in the car knew that that was time for an emergency room visit. When Rachel got to the emergency room, doctors ran all sorts of tests, which came back normal, until they got the results of her blood work, which indicated trauma to the heart. They admitted her to the hospital, where she stayed for five days, having her blood drawn every three hours as doctors ordered EKGs, ultrasounds, and CAT scans. And what they were about to do the following day was a heart cath procedure. But as luck would have it, I got COVID that very night and they had to cancel all of my procedures. They sent Rachel home to recover from COVID with no answers. When you have COVID, there it can be a catch-all sort of diagnosis. So it's really important that um, we as patients advocate and we know our bodies. Just a few days later, the debilitating heart pain returned and Rachel's cardiologist admitted her to the hospital where she had a heart catheter that finally brought some answers. There was a tear in one of the arteries and there was a flap that was kind of going back and forth because blood moves through those arteries. It was the source of all that pain. Doctors diagnosed Rachel with spontaneous coronary artery dissection or SCAD, which they say caused her heart attack on January 1st. These patients, they're healthy, they're young, they don't have much risk factors. And then out of a sudden, they start having, you know, acute onset chest pains. Dr. Michelle Corbin is an interventional cardiologist at Banner who studied SCAD at Mayo Clinic, which he says has the largest database of SCAD patients in the country. 4% of all heart attacks are related to SCAD. In particular, up to 35% of heart attacks in women less than 50 years of age are related to SCAD. Corbin says triggers can include uncontrolled blood pressure, genetics, intense emotional or physical stress, and pregnancy. Prompt and, and accurate diagnosis and management of SCAD can save your life. Doctors still don't know what caused Rachel to develop SCAD and want her to avoid anything that could possibly cause another tear. The occurrence rate is high in SCAD, and if you had it once, you might have it again. Before SCAD, Rachel's days were filled with high-intensity workouts, a full-time job, and planning her dream wedding. The start of 2022 looks much different. I'm not allowed to walk very much. I'm not allowed to be in stressful situations. I'm not, in, I'm not working right now. What we're doing is just regularly checking in week to week at this point, um, monitoring my pain levels, doing regular EKGs. Rachel continues to feel heart pain every day, but that's not unusual for SCAD patients as the tear heals. Now she's learning to rest and wants to remind others to do the same. This has definitely slowed me down in a good way. Hate the condition, but love the message. Um, and I will take that moving forward seriously for sure. Doctors hope Rachel's heart will heal on its own and tell her recovery time could range from a couple of months to a year. If it doesn't heal on its own, she will need to have surgery. Rachel is still waiting on test results to see if her genetics could have contributed to SCAD. Dr. Corbin wants our viewers to pay close attention to their bodies like Rachel did. If you have a chest pain that is radiating to your neck, back, jaw, or arms, you need to seek medical attention immediately.